All right, welcome to the match analysis of every touch I took of my second game of the season. I managed to get a goal in this game again to make it two goals in two games. Had a pretty good game. I'm going to show you all my touches. A few touches are missing because we didn't get them on film, unfortunately, but we got most of them. So let's get right into the first play. So in this first play, the ball is going to be played into me. I take a good touch infield, uh, fake going one way and try and play my midfielder, but I just put a little too much on it and it's intercepted. I try and win it back but just miss it. So here, again, balls played into me, plenty of space. I turn, I try and play it into the middle. It's blocked, and I just maintain possession by playing it back to my left back. So right here, another good ball into me. I have space. I try and pass it first time. It's not great, but I win it back right away. We maintain possession. Uh, we move up the pitch, and I think we end up winning a throw from this play. In this play, we win the ball and we switch it up. I try and make myself a little bit available out wide. It's played to me. I could have played my striker's feet there, but I decide to maintain possession, and we end up getting a foul in the middle. This one is a good give-and-go play. I create an angle. I uh, play with the outside of my foot back to my teammate who tries to cross it to find our striker. Um, it just doesn't work out this uh, time, so I want to analyze this one a little bit. Um, you can see I make the little check. I just need enough space in order to get in front of my defender. Um, he actually steps on my foot in the end, but just by getting there that fraction of a second before him, I'm able to get the flick um, and get my winger in behind the defense, and it's just unfortunate that we didn't make more of this chance. So this is actually the tap off. We just conceded a goal. I just play it to our right back who's going to play in the middle. I get a little flick trying to give a go with my striker. It doesn't work out this time. However, a few seconds later, we actually get our goal back. It's a good shot from Fabe. He catches the keeper out at his near post um, who was not expecting that one bit. So right here, again, I find a pocket of space. I take it, cut back, and I'm looking for my winger on the other side who's making the run. Unfortunately, the ball I play is not the best. And right here, I technically get a touch. I try and turn this defender, but he does a good job of getting right on me and not allowing me to do it. This next one's a good little play. Um, we move it around really well. Um, I played the ball. I played to my midfielder right away and then spin him behind. He plays it a little far ahead of me, so I'm put into the corner. Um, and I just try and beat this first guy, but I get double teamed and played off him for a corner. So right here, I'm just going to win a header and almost get one of my teammates in behind. Uh, we'll take a look at this again real quick. You'll notice how early I jump, and this is so the defender really can't do anything. The only thing he can do at this point is foul me. Um, but if, he, if I don't jump early, he has the potential to get the ball ahead of me or prevent me from jumping. Um, so I jump early to make sure I get the flick on the ball. So here we're kind of in a corner, it's passed to me, and I use the outside of my foot to spin it back to my left back, um, and we somehow get out of trouble in this one, but that's a good play, uh, just because I can't turn the guy right on my back, and uh, just by giving the ball to my left back there, it allows him to play forward. So here the ball bounces around in the box, they make a real meal of this, but I, th I thought I scored this. It's an absolutely fantastic save by the keeper. I couldn't have hit it any better, it just comes to me and I hit it on the half volley. Kind of put a little spin on it and it's heading towards that upper corner. Uh, keeper had some absolutely fantastic reactions to this. Um, it probably helped that he's a tall keeper and it was at a decent height, but um, I hit it as well as I could possibly hit it. And uh, props to the keeper on that one, it was a fantastic save. I did end up getting my goal a few moments later by um, stealing the ball here and then a little chip over the keeper. And this is one of the reasons why you always want to be harassing the defense and trying to, you know, take passes off them. You know, a little lapse in concentration like that from the defender who doesn't really see me. I have a running start on the other defender who tries to catch up to me. Um, and it's a good touch in he ahead of me. This keeper's tall. I know he's going to go down. Um, and I just flick it over him. It's a good finish. Um, and just remember, you want to harass the back line, try and make them lose the ball, try and intercept the ball from them, and if you do, you'll get goals like this from time to time. So right here, the ball is going to bounce out to me, and I take a good touch and then kind of roll it to my strike partner. Um, I could have kept going forward there, but I wanted to give it to him. He was facing a little more forward, and his momentum was taking him forward, and we end up winning a free kick from that play. So here's another play where I intercept the ball, um, the guy doesn't see me, and I flick it into the open space past this defender because I have a lot of space to work with. And then right here, I'm not waiting, I'm running right at this guy, taking little touches, I do a step over, and I'm looking to get this ball into the box to my strike partner. Unfortunately, I played a little behind him, um, so that doesn't work out in the end. 
But again, it's a good play. And again, if you're harassing the back line, you're being, um, you're defending from the front, you'll be intercepting balls like this. And you can see how quickly you can counter when you win these types of balls. So in this play, I win the ball, um, and I try a sombrero flick over this guy, and I don't do the best job of it, and I try and win it after. Um, honestly, in this situation, it wasn't the best option, and I kind of knew that he knew I was going to try it, but it was too late to switch my, uh, change my mind at that point, so I still went for it. And I honestly didn't execute it that well, um, so that's something for me to work on. In this play, it just comes out to me, and I cushion it to my midfielder, because there's a guy on my back, and we maintain possession. So on this corner, it's going to bounce to me, and I'm going to get a snapshot with my back to goal. Um, I didn't know I had as much time. I thought the defender was right on me, but we get a shot out of it. So I want to highlight this play because I actually make a mistake here. Um, I lose my bearings, and I'm not sure what's around me, and it causes me to lose the ball. Um, so what happens is if I had known where the defender is by looking over my shoulder, I would have known I could have spun around instead of taking those extra touches. Um, but because I didn't, I panicked took the extra touches and then tried to chop it inside and it ended up with me losing the ball. So that's another really good reason or important reason why you need to always be looking up and be aware of what's around you. Because if I was aware that he wasn't right on me, I could have turned, faced him up, passed it out wide, or even taken him on one-on-one. -on -one. Right here, our winger wings the ball very well and I just flick it to him um, because the passing angle wasn't there. And then we almost get a good counterattack going here. So here, the ball's bouncing around. It's a good pass to me. I control it with the outside of my foot and then play a good pass to my strike partner um, who does the right thing, runs directly at the defender, just tries to hit this one a little too hard. So here's an example of closing down. I kind of wait and I see that he has no pass and then he, uh, has, he panics and tries to clear the ball away and we get a throw in. And here's a good example of being strategic with your closing down. I move a little slowly to him. I don't want to go in gun ho and allow him to get out. So I wait until it's obvious that he doesn't have a pass. He, can, you can see he takes a touch out wide, which means I can now back him into the corner. Um, and it ends up with him having to clear the ball out for a throw in. So at this point, it's about the 86th minute in the game. I'm really tired. Um, I otherwise probably would have taken on that defender, and I play a pretty poor cross into the box. So I'm actually not involved in this play, but it's like the last minute of the game. We win the ball back well, and then a really great cross is played into the box, and we tie the game in the last minute. Our right back gets a header in, and it was a good way to end the game as it was a very chippy game, and we had a lot of calls go against us, so... To get that tying goal was really good to maintain our unbeaten record for the season. And overall, I was very happy with the game and the performance. Um, we had almost no subs, while the other team had like 12 subs. So that didn't help our cause. We were very tired out there, very leggy. Um, but yeah, to get come away with a 3-3 three, three, uh, result was not bad at all. I was pleased with my performance, definitely better than last week. Um, and I've got two goals in two games, which is very pleasing as well. Some things to work on. I'm going to be continuing to work on my fitness so that by the 85th minute, I'm not as leggy and those plays where I was being lazy, like crossing the ball instead of taking the man on, I can be a little better with. Um, and then there's some more times like when I... Uh, wasn't aware that I could turn and I ended up playing myself into trouble. So I need to work on my awareness a little bit as well, um, along with my decision making. But overall, a good game. Definitely good going forward and looking forward to next week's game. All right, guys. So thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want some more analysis videos. I'm going to be bringing you as many of my games as I possibly can this season. I don't know if I'll have someone to film my game next week, but I should the week after that. Uh, please like and share this video if you enjoyed it. I will put two videos up on the screen and I I will see you in tomorrow's video.